This upgrade to Adagio Ledger version 9.2a has a ton of new features. In prior releases of Ledger, retrieving subledger batches would always create one batch for each subledger program, regardless of the number of batches or posting sequences. Now, these can be separated into respective batches in Ledger, provided that entries are not consolidated in the subledger. To set a default value, open the company profile and on the Options tab, in the section to separate subledgers on Retrieve By, choose either Batch or Posting Sequence to have the new batches separated in that way, or leave as None to perform retrievals as before. On the Retrieve Subledger Batches screen, each application can have a particular way to separate entries into batches by highlighting the program and choosing the method at the bottom of the window. This will be remembered for subsequent retrievals in the future. If you choose a method that is not supported by this subledger program, a message will appear to indicate this, and the retrieval will put all entries into a single ledger batch as before. This message may also appear if entries exist that do not conform to the selected method. When batch retrieval is performed, entries will continue to retrieve to either current or next year batches as appropriate when at year end. Entries will be separated by the selected method and by batch type. The subledger batch or posting sequence number will be in the batch description for easier reference. A new feature that will become standard to Adagio programs is to complement the Adagio menu with a customizable toolbar that can open or bring to front other Adagio programs. To enable this new toolbar, from the File menu, open User Preferences. On the General tab and in the Settings by Company, select the Adagio toolbar for display. All installed Adagio programs for which data exists for this company will be listed here, exactly as displayed for the Adagio menu. From here, you can choose which applications are visible on the toolbar and remove programs you do not require. Also, use the arrow buttons to sort the program buttons. Save the user preferences to see the Adagio toolbar created at the top right side of the window. Depending on the size of the window and the number of selected programs, the buttons may be displayed in more than one row. Buttons may also be modified directly from the toolbar. Drag a button to another location to move it. Drag a button off of the toolbar to remove it. And right-click to see a list of unselected programs in order to add a button. The entire toolbar can also be hidden from here if desired. When a button is clicked, that Adagio program is opened for the same user and company just as if the Adagio menu is used. The main difference is that if an Adagio program is already open for the same company, that program window is simply brought to the front rather than opening a new program instance. This will make toggling between multiple open Adagio programs easier. A new setting that will become a standard feature in other Adagio programs is available to apply to all record and finder grids to applied colored banding for easier display. To enable this, from the File menu, open User Preferences, and in the Settings by Application, choose Ignore Style Properties to enable banding. This will override any styles which may be on a grid. 
Then, enter the number of rows that make up a band, and the row background color for the banding. Save the user preferences and open a screen with a grid to see the banded display. In the case of a grid that supports filters, there is a button that allows toggling between the banded grid display and view with automatic or manual styles. Also new on grids with a selected filter is a display of the number of records determined by the filter as compared to the total number of records. Adagio Ledger 9.2a and all future Adagio upgrades at the 9.2a version level has a new underlying report structure based on a more current version of Crystal Reports to simplify installation and removing the need for report tables and directories. For this reason, if you use custom or modified Crystal Reports, they will need to be converted to the new standard. To find out how to do this, click this link to the video demonstrating the use of the report conversion utility and also the new version of print tool required to print custom reports. The detail listing report has new improvements and options available. A setting to select only transactions for the prior fiscal period can be used, perhaps in conjunction with favorite reports. It is also now possible to select transactions that span multiple fiscal years for any range of available years and periods. And to see just a summary of net change amounts between periods and not the underlying details, choose the option to hide transaction details. For each account, opening and closing balances are printed along with the total debit and credit and the net change. In prior versions, only one unpost batch sequence was available at a time, and the journal report had to be purged before another batch could be unposted. In this upgrade, that limitation has been lifted. Now, when unposting a batch, either from the current year or next year, a sequence number is saved with the results. The unposting journal report now has the same options as the regular posting journal, including a range of sequences to print and selecting only the most recent unposting. And with unpurged information, it is possible to reopen the unpost function rather than get a message to purge. Unpost journals are cleared at year end as with other posting journals. In prior versions, account groups could be modified to assign account numbers, but the groups themselves were set and could not be categorized differently. This restriction has now been lifted. Account groups can be created either by copying an existing group or starting a new one. Select the desired account type and enter a unique two-digit code so that the new group is positioned in the desired order. Also, enter the description of the group. Then enter the appropriate accounts for the group as usual, without duplicating accounts in other groups, and save the changes. Account groups can also be deleted, including the original groups if desired. Once the updated group scheme has been completed, the codes can be pushed to the chart of accounts using the Update button, or selected when editing a particular account. This upgrade also includes many new features and changes to the Financial Reporter. Click this link to watch the video demonstrating key Financial Reporter updates. <laughs>